Steven Lorenz looks. Back door, they score! Greg Gatzold, what a play by Steven Lorenz, and the Beats lead it one nothing. Great play by Steven Lorenz. Most guys would have won a shot that puck there. He held on to it. Great patience. Betzel came sneaking in from the far side. And three on ones, very tough to stop. And you see Halverson, he didn't know where to go. Great pass by Lorenz to finally get it over there. And he, we talked about how good Halverson is. And watch how he just gets stead, still flat footed as Betzel kind of throws it into the open net. It's rare you get a goalie this good caught like that. And watch this. Lorenz hangs onto it, waits for the D to make the move. Easy goal for Betzel. Johnny on the spot, just has to tap it in. The key there, I think, was Lorenz putting on the brakes and kind of froze everyone. I think a lot of guys, you're right, Scott, probably would have shot. Probably would have went off maybe a shin pad. Who knows? That's a nice play by Steven Lorenz. Here's a chance the other way. Similar play, they score the Greyhounds. Tie it up less than 30 seconds later. Again, a little dish out in front, deflection. And just like that, it's a 1-1 hockey game as it's finished off by Gabe Gertler. Big rebound from Mancina, and the Sioux capitalized and knock it right in there. He made the save, first save initially pretty good. Tough to cover up that rebound, came right off the tip of that right side pad. And the Greyhound player just streaking right down the middle, as you'll see Mancina. We talked about Spears, great patience there as he throws it in, and that second shot, that rebound off of that right leg. Is the one that ends up going in, just a little trickler that Mancina couldn't trap. That's a tough one to get a hold of. Buffalo Sabres drop back and only almost stole it there too, so the Peets kill off that power play that the Greyhounds had for almost two minutes. Here's a chance shot, and they score. They take the lead, a 2-1 hockey game. Connor Timmons making up for a couple penalties he took. So just that could be Howell, sorry, that's Howell. That buried that one. Liam Howell, his first goal and first of the game, of course, obviously giving the Hounds a 2-1 lead. Nice little chip shot into the top of the net. Fools Mancina, just the second shot of the period for the Greyhounds. And that pass just goes off a skate that redirects, fools the entire Pete's team, including Mancina. Everyone had to sort of redirect their focus to the top of the crease instead of the side of the net. And that gives the Greyhounds that opportunity to scoop that puck in. Mancina gets a piece of it, but still trickles through. Now the Peets take it. Ang, oh, weird bounce, stolen, pass. Spears shoots, he scores! Blake Spears makes it 3-1, Sioux St. Marie. The captain just comes flying out of nowhere off of the bench, and the puck popped right to his stick. He made no mistakes about it. He had lots of time to think about it, but he didn't take any time at all. Just snapped that right into the back of the net past Mancina, giving the Greyhounds just a little bit of a cushion, a little bit of a clearing error by Ang. He meant to swing that all the way around the net. It took a bounce right back to the Greyhounds. They end up with the puck, and you see Spears just roofs it after several low shots towards the pads of Mancina. The Greyhounds switch it up, far side, top corner. Now Hunter Gollin out of the box. He joins in on the play. Lorenz heads to the goal. Steven Lorenz, backhand shot. Loose puck in the crease. There's a shot. Do they score? What's the signal? Referee not giving us the call. The fans on their feet. I'll tell you, if that is not in the net, that is an unbelievable two saves by Halverson. Maybe even a third save as well. We'll get a look. He's... He took the puck from over the goal line. Yeah, so he's I, looking there like uh, he knows it's in. Yeah. So I think uh, we're going to see a goal here when it all comes down to it. Goal light went on. The music came on. All the players went wild. That doesn't mean anything, though. Uh, you're going to celebrate regardless. But one save, two saves, one off the glove. And if, if those are the only angles, Pete, I don't know if there's a different angle, but that's inconclusive from that. Uh, from that way, unless you can see if it's in his glove and it goes behind, that's going to be a very tough one to call for the, the referees. But the way Halverson was kind of sitting in his net, he had that look on his face that he knew yeah. he was beat. Yeah. But if you can't his see His body it, language wasn't good uh, for sure. Here's a great shot. Matt Parks down in the corner. And again, you just can't see the line or the puck, and it chips oh. right over top right there. Definitely in the net, but was the whistle down yeah, at, at that point, point in time? Yeah, you, that was a great angle. You could see it go over top of the goaltender. Yeah. I thought it went underneath when we were first looking at it. I didn't realize they chipped it right over top of him into the back of the net. 
This is so uh, clearly this in the net, but we just don't know. Did a whistle go at that point yeah. in time? Referee was waving, and he's got the best angle. And this will be a good angle here as well. Won't be able to hear the whistle, but so you'll be able to, to see that. Watch it chip right try. over. The third one comes out, and this is where I thought the puck was in the net now, and you see it pop out. I think the whistle might be gone at this point in time. Oh, there the it is, Hunter Garland. Out. Hunter Garland gets a stick on it, pops it up, and but did it go in before that? And see the ref wave, though? No, he had the whistle right to his mouth. We obviously couldn't hear that. Myers is waving no goal right away. Or maybe it was Pinder behind there. Regardless, one of the head officials right behind the net, and we'll see. And No goal. Wow. All right. That would have been huge for the Peets. The net is empty. The Peets pulling the goalie with uh, over two minutes left. Something they don't traditionally don't think do with that much time left. And it doesn't pay off this time as Spears scores into the empty cage. I mean, there, there's nothing to lose really at that point. It had been two and a half periods since they scored. So, yeah, why not go for it? But it just didn't work out for them. And Spears picks up another one. That will seal the deal for the Greyhounds tonight. A good night for the captain. He's having some fun out there. That was He's in uh, trouble. <laughs> caught up in Bobby McIntyre's shirt again. McIntyre. He's everywhere. Involved, but you know, Spears empty net. He still roofs it. Look at him, way out. It's a risky shot, and a little bit. boom, right in the right in the center, top shelf. The U.S. should be pretty good in goal, that is for sure. And that will do it. The hockey game is over. The Sault Ste. Marie Greyhounds defeat the Peets by a final score of four to one. And they will leave town with the two points here tonight. The Pete's will look to regroup tomorrow in Hamilton. Dan Malta and your post-game show coming up. You're watching the OHL tonight on TV Kojiko.